What's up everyone? You're watching The End. The people, places, and things that affect your world and our society. And I'm James Rice. The third, not the first, not the second, but the third. And today's show is In Depth. In Depth is where we take a news topic or situation and we look, take an in-depth look at it and try to break down the issues so that you at home can understand what's going on in your world and our society. And today's topic is the Gulf Coast oil spill. Now I'm sure we've all by now seen the devastating pictures of the dolphins, the pelicans, the crabs, everything covered in oil. But I want to give you an in-depth look at how everything happened from the start. Okay? So it all started on April 20th, which is over a month ago. The Deepwater Horizon oil rig, which is an offshore oil rig owned by British Petroleum, show the picture, exploded. Now immediately following the explosion, the government, the military, everyone focused on trying to save lives. The 11 lives that they thought were um, missing or people who they could not locate in the ocean. So that was all the focus. It wasn't until two days later on April 22nd that oil actually started to rise and cover up a small part of the ocean surface. Now at this point in time, all the executives at British Petroleum pretty much blew it off. They said, well, it was a small oil spill. Um, it's all because of the explosion. It, it, it's no big deal, really. No, nothing at all. Well, by April 24th, they were changing their tune because the Coast Guard then estimated that what was actually going on is below the water's surface, there were pipes that had broken. And these pipes were roughly leaking uh, about 42,000 gallons of oil a day. That was their first estimate. Just 42,000 gallons of oil per day, you know, not, nothing major, that's it. But wait, because on April 28th, the Coast Guard went back and reevaluated and they said, oh, <laughs> see, we know you said 42,000, but what actually happened is it's more like 210,000 gallons of oil per day. I mean, you know, they were only off by 168,000 gallons. Mm. Let's do the math, shall we? If you have 210,000 gallons of oil, multiply that times 36 days, the oil has been leaking in the ocean, times five, carry the one, so you, say, you get seven million five hundred and sixty thousand gallons of oil. Seven million five hundred and sixty thousand gallons of oil potentially leaking into the ocean as of today. Right now. Seven million. Seven million. But it's all good. Right? Nah, it ain't all good. And to make matters worse, the oil has been spreading these past 36 days. And it, while it's been spreading across the surface of the ocean, it has the potential to run to what they call the loop current. Show the picture. This loop current means that this oil can ride this current faster than a California surfer on a wave in the summer through Cuba and Florida up into the Gulf Stream and BAM! All the way up the entire eastern seaboard. All the way to New York, New Jersey, Connecticut. That's right, this small little oil spill BP that you had on the Gulf of Mexico could get into the currents and go all the way up to New York. Yes, all because you failed. 